I burnt my toast this morning. Here's the evidence. But it did get me thinking about how might I make a mathematical model for making toast. When you make toast, you pop the bread in the toaster. The toaster has elements which send heat in the form of infrared radiation sideways into the toast. Firstly, it dries off the moisture from the bread to make it nice and crispy. And the second is it promotes the browning reactions, so-called Maillard reactions, which make the toast into toast rather than just hot bread. You could make a simple mathematical model with one-dimensional heat conduction in the bread and, in particular, absorption of heat at the surface. And this seemed interesting to me because your bread starts out bread-coloured and I suspect that at that point it reflects the energy back fairly well. So it takes quite a while for the early stages to happen. But once the browning starts to happen, the bread gets darker and it absorbs the energy better. And that means that the reaction goes quicker and you have a positive feedback or runaway which makes the reaction accelerate. And so it can all go far quicker than you're expecting in the last stages of burning your toast. A similar sort of thing is happening in the Arctic, in the glaciers of the, of the far north because these glaciers have little ponds on the top in the summer, which are formed by sunlight melting the ice. These ponds have been colonised by microbial life, which is dark and absorbs sunlight very well. So when the sun shines on them, they absorb the light that warms the water, makes the pond bigger, makes more room for more microbes to grow, and then the pond can grow bigger still. And then next year you have a larger seed pond to start off all over again after the winter. And it's feared that these ponds are going to lead to the destruction of all the glaciers in the Arctic in due course. There's a lot to think about when you're making your toast, just don't let it burn while you're doing it.